Hey what's up guys, my name is Better. go back to the channel, go back to the Duel Links video. This is the video I think you guys have been wanting today, my thoughts on the new updates to the Forbidden Limited list and skill balancing. So, we'll go over the skill balancing first, because that one is a little bit... I haven't actually checked them out. So, on the 6th of November, we are going to get some balances to skills. So, first of all, the creator skill. Um, Jesus, so the cards that you can add to your hand with this skill will be updated to reflect the current metagame. And the change? They're going to add more prevalent cards. So before I think you had Harpy's Feather Duster in there? Or something? So what are they going to give us now? Like Monster Reborn? A well balanced play environment for all duelists in time for the Casey Cup held in November. I wonder what cards are going to give us with the creator skill because I don't think anyone's using that and I don't think anyone will use that unless the cards are really good. So Konami, you better keep up on your promise. Now on to the Forbidden Limbs list again happening November 6th. This one is the biggie. So newly limited Champions Vigilance. This shuts down Red Eyes decks, these base Red Eyes decks really really well. They no longer can set three of these in the back row and have immediate protection across everything you try to do on your turn. That is really helpful, this card has been a bit of a pain. I'm now only glad I have two of them because now I can only run one of them. That's really cool. Machine Angel Ritual. This card getting limited is crazy. Obviously Absolute Ritual is still in the game so you're still going to be running three of them. Your opponents are now going to have to find other alternative uh, cards to use to summon out their cyber angels but what this does do is this basically means that they can only protect their monsters once unless they keep unless they return it back to the hand even though then but then it gets banished so that's kind of fine but they only get one protection with this and this potentially means that you are going to have a harder time uh, bricking or well, not bricking but you know your draws aren't always going to be as perfect because if you think about it if you open with a Cyberty Angel, that gets you any Machine Angel card. Either this thing or a Ritual. You open with Sonic Bird, it gets you a Ritual Monster. If you open with uh, Senju, it gets you this card. So, it's... You're now having less targets, but you're having to put your deck... or put in other cards in your deck to fulfill the same requirements and also Absolute Ritual is a bit more limiting because you have to have the exact amounts but you can use stuff in your graveyard whereas this you can go over. So this will now test people so basically the play with this you want to do now is you now want to do Absolute Ritual for Edeton using Dakini, using a Benton sorry so you then get the search of those two. Search this with Edeton and search Dakini with Benton then summon Dakini using this, so you get that protection effect. So that's pretty cool that we're getting that change. I really wish that was this season, but because if, like, if that was right now, it'd be great because Cyber Angel would be screwed, and that'd be amazing. I'd love them, but unfortunately they can't do that. Um, next, being semi-limited to two, Red Eyes Spirit. This card, Tiger Monroe's Monster in your Graveyard, except Red Eyes Black Chicken, Special Summon it. People are now only going to be running two Red Eyes Insight in the deck, so it frees up a slot. It frees up two card slots, actually, now. So that's really cool for Red Eyes players. They get to take in some other things that they might not have been able to before. Um, so some new, new, some new strategies are going to come thanks to this card getting uh, semi-limited. But only having two opportunities to resummon Red Eyes with this card is great. You could still use Wyvern to summon it, um, but... Just now that we're now limited basically to two summons with this card per turn, unless you of course recycle the trap card. That's definitely very, very helpful and makes the deck a little bit less cancerous. Um, you know, when you come against the Red Eyes in the ladder, in the rank ladder, and you're not playing Red Eyes or Cyber Angels, you're kind of just like, oh, just end my life now, please. Just, <laughs> just let me exit this duel and play against someone else that I'm actually going to have fun against and this might make you have more fun because Red Eyes can't do as much you know they can't just spam the board first turn play an insight get a spirit ditch one to the graveyard and then set three spirits face down 
or set two spirits and or one spirit and two champ vidge. They can't do that anymore. They can now only do one champ vidge and two spirits. So that's that's really cool. So I'm all for these changes. Uh, again, the machine engine ritual one is a very um, very welcomed, very surprising as well. They say here that it was limited to prevent the cyber angel decks from taking over higher level play. Obviously, to me, that kind of sounds like they hadn't planned for them to be this good, and they obviously are this good. So. Glad to see Konami making some changes about a month after GX launched, a bit over a month after GX launched, we're getting our first update to the Forbidden Limited list. It was a long time coming for Red Eyes decks, but pretty cool we're finally getting these. Let me know your thoughts on this Forbidden and Limited list update in the comment section down below. Are you excited for the new uh, Casey Cup season to know that you, when you go against Red Eyes, when you go against Cyber Angels, they might be a little bit fairer? Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then.